Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. We are, well, yeah, we're still getting to the bottom of this case. We basically found out the whole affair thing, which I totally called, and now we're going back to our to our estate to see if we've gotten those names from the Sailor Boys. Well, yeah, the Sailor Boy names. Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. Hmm. Hugh Patton Sailor. James Lancaster Helmsman. Patrick Carnes Harpooner. Rolf Talbot Sailor. John y York Cook. Pablo Confortaro Harpooner. He died a week. He died a week ago. Interesting. This man is a harpooner. And his initials are PC, the oh. same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Right. PC. Right. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. Sometime later. So that tobacco pouch was not we Peter Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch pub. Where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Hmm. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Nice doing business with you. Okay. So it wasn't Peter Carey's. It was Patrick Carnes. Peter Carey's not a smoker, but Patrick Carnes probably was. If the pouch belongs to Peter Carnes, to Patrick Carnes, it indicates his presence at the crime scene, but it still must be proven. Right. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Oh, so this is where... Oh, cool. This is so cool that it does matter how you dress up as. All right, let's dress as a sailor. Come on, come on. Sailor suit. Sailor outfit. To the makeup table. Uh, the hat will not do. That's good enough. That's sailor enough. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Yay! See, I, I didn't I kind of say that, um, didn't I kind of call it that it would be good, it would be appropriate for me to, you know, to do this case if I was dressed up as a sailor. I said that in episode one, but I just, you know, it made more sense. It made more sense for him to not dress up as a sailor until now. So that's pretty cool. Disguise yourself as a sailor and find Carnes at the witch at the Sea Witch Club. Alright. Is there anything I can deduce? Patrick Carnes, Liam Hartley's letter. Patrick Carnes missing papers. Judith Carey's confession breaking attempts. Okay. Peter Carnes and the missing papers. Peter Carey and Judith Carey's. Okay, well. Patrick Carnes and the break in attempts. Alright, never mind. I think I need to check Patrick Carnes. Alright. Sea Witch Pub! <laughs> I still have my pipe. Oh, Holmes. Too bad there I can't dress up as a woman. At some point that would be hilarious for Holmes to dress up in drag. I'm wondering if there's any clues here. Ari, comment. Everything's... wow, these people sound like whales. Of course, he's probably here in the back or something. Peter Carnes, there he is. What the heck is going on over here with all these maggots? All these flies. Alright. Holmes, buy him a drink. Maybe that'll loosen his lips. Get him some ale. 
That's alcohol is the best truth serum. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? Um, just to say. We've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. <laughs> you seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. Do I have to arm wrestle with him? Ted shillings. Suits me. Are you gonna arm wrestle him, really? Okay, here we go, Holmes. Follow pa Patrick Carnes' facial expression to so understand his moves. Push, restrain, idle, and plan your counter strategy. Pay attention to your stamina. Okay. Push. Gotcha. <gasps> I'm not really sure I understand this. Restrain. Push. I'm not really sure. I don't quite understand this, guys. So I'm pushing. It seems like every time I restrain... Oh, hold to restrain. Okay, okay. Hold to restrain. I don't, I'm not sure I get it. I'm trying to watch his facial expressions. Could be a little bit clearer of how this works. Ugh. Oh come on. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. It looks like I was winning for a moment there. Press to push. I think I'm gonna lose this. Can I just sock punch him in the face? Uh, can I just punch him in the face? Jeez. <laughs> That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? I'm gonna try I'm again. Ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Follow to understand its booze. Push, restrain, idle, and plan your counter strategy. Pay attention to your stamina. Okay. There we go. Just restrain. Here we go. He's relaxing. Restrain, restrain, push, no idle. Oh, restrain. I think I'm getting it. Ugh, come on. Restrain. 
strain. Restrain. Push. Push. Come on, Holmes. You're almost there. There we go. Good job, Holmes. I... that... yeah, I took me a while to figure that out. You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. Alright. Let's continue. One more time. Two I'm out of three. to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money. No problem with that. So I probably should beat him twice to get my money back. Because he beat me the once. Alright. You pretty much have to push until he strains, and then you can hold her strain. And then you can... Uh, okay, here, here we go. Oh, no, no, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. And then I can push. Here we go. Push, 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 push. Oh, no, restrain. Push, 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 push. No, restrain. Okay, I gotta fill up my stamina. No, restrain. Push, 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 push. Good, Holmes. Got it. Alright, can you talk now? Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. There we go. I'd like to buy you a drink. See, you should have done that first. Winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. Perfect. Oof. I regained that. Good job, Holmes. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? So, how often do you come here? Not that much. Sailor? Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. Let's take a look at your profile. Let's, let's, let's check you out. Gold earring. Hmm. He's got a magnificent beard. I'm sure Reclusiarch would, would uh, zoom in on that immediately. Hmm. Cheap clothes. <laughs> this guy's cheap. Sailor's tattoo. Big hands. Manicure. Yellow nails. Yes, he needs a manicure. Uh, sailors. Wait, what's that? Strong hands. Oh. Why do you say poor? You're not working? I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. So I'm wondering if he and the other guy, he and the gardener both, he and the gardener both harpooned him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Old Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger, we sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar, and violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. He was a tyrant, and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. Oh, Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. What is it? Another drink. Tell me, and let's have another drink. Perfect. It was in 1883 that it happened. Aha. Uh -huh. The August of that year, Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn, and I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her. 
and he wasn't a sailor. Hmm. The crew must have thought that she had foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. Nelligan's father? Who was he? Was he Nelligan's father? And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. Right, the bond. That's strange enough. Aye, oh, even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. Hmm. So they made a deal or something? My, is my you guess. know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Oh. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Oh. Black Peter's a murderer. Oh. Aye. For those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. So Black Peter murdered Nelligan's father. Plant pouch. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. To the Kazi. Oh, yeah. With my drink. Interesting. Patrick Carnes is an experienced harpooner currently facing unemployment and poverty. He can be found most often in the Sea Witch, a public house deemed popular by the sailors whom he arm wrestles for money. Like many of his kind, he is a heavy smoker, indicated by his yellowed fingers. Oh, that's why he's a smoker. Concealed murder. Peter Carey was trying to conceal the murder of John Nelligan's father. Makes sense. Plant the pouch in Karen's pocket and determine if the pouch is his. I'll do it from behind. Drag down. Here it is. Oh, I'm done. He's too drunk to notice. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? So it was. Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Nice. Well, oh, oh it is. Well, I have to go now. Mm. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe, if you like, I. We made a new friend. I'm done here. It's time to leave. To turn, so that was his pouch. So what does that mean? Um, Peter Carnes' pouch. Patrick Carnes' pouch. Pouch proves guilt. Pouch proves visit. It doesn't prove that he was guilty. Carnes confirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he has that he was at the scene of the murder and thus proves his guilt. That doesn't prove his guilt. Because again, the just because what's his name? Nelligan, the boy, the Nelligan kid was trying to break in, it doesn't automatically prove his guilt. It proves that he was maybe connected somehow. Carnes has confirmed that the patch belongs to him. That means that he was the scene of the murder, but it doesn't necessarily prove that he is the murderer. Yeah. Back to my clues. Missing tin box, missing papers. Valuable bonds of papers were kept inside the stolen tin box. Nelligan's motive. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. So now we've got more possible conspiracy. Both Nelligan and Hurtley are lying. Therefore, they might be working together. Exactly. Oh, wow. Two murderers. This does, this does coincide. Solve the case by, yeah, this is getting, this is getting interesting. So Hurtley and Nelligan could very well have been the murderers. Nelligan and Hurtley. Two murders. John Hopley Nelligan and Liam Hurtley conspired together to murder Peter Carey. Nelligan's motive was revenge for Carey's theft. Hurtley's motive was jealous 
Nelligan was revenge for Carrie's theft. Hartley's motive was jealousy and his love for Carrie's wife. Nelligan is the initiator. Liam Hartley and John Nelligan are guilty of a heinous, predetermined, premeditated crime. Let them be punished by law. Nelligan was the initiator, and Hartley his accomplice. Hartley is the initiator. Liam Hartley and John Nelligan are guilty of the heinous, premeditated crime. Let them be punished by the law. Hartley was the initiator. Poor Nelligan was just following his lead. I'm going to continue the investigation. I need to fi find out the rest of the clues here before I start. Make sure I have everything before I... Before I... Because I don't want... I, I feel like I, there's still more things I need to make sure of. Judith Carey's confession. Liam Hartley's letter. Break in attempts. Missing papers. Oh. Interesting. See how that... Retrieving the notebook. I like see how that see how I did that when I made those two connections. I was able to make different deductions. Retrieving the notebook. The break-in attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Looking for taper. Nelligan was looking for his father's papers inside the black cab man's cabin. Explains his presence at the scene of the murder. Looking for papers. Nelligan's motive. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. Nelligan's innocence. John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. He does not fit the portrait of the murder either by physical or psychological description. That could probably be the case. That's interesting. Just by making all these deductions, I'm like... I am completely changing, you know, my thought process and therefore making completely different deductions, like completely different theories of who the murderer actually is. That is really cool. That is really cool game. Harmless flirting. It has been confirmed that Liam Hartley was flirting with Peter Carey's wife and even fell in love, but it didn't go beyond the affectionate but harmless letters and words. That could be the case. Liam Hartley loved Judith Carey so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked him committing the murder. Hartley's innocence. Liam Hartley's relationship with Judith Carey gives him motive for killing Peter Carey. Hartley's presence at Woodsman Leon the night of the murder is explained by his affection toward Ju Judith Carey and the fact that he worked there as a gardener. That could be the case, which means signs could point to... You have found all the utilized clues in the case. Please proceed to the deduction space to form your conclusion. <sighs> Investigate. Inspect the crime scene at Woodman's Lee. The fate of Black Peter. I'm gonna go talk to these suspects one more time. Before I make a... Before I make a make a complete conf before I can close this case I want to talk to all my suspects one more time just to just to make sure that I have all my eggs in my basket leave me alone please all right well she doesn't want to talk to me anymore the harpooner Scotland Yard Oh, I'm not, I'm not, am I not dressed up as a, as a sailor anymore? Oh, I'm back to my default. Alright, that's fine. I want to talk to John What am Nelligan. I doing here? I've done nothing. What am I doing here? I... I'm not saying another... Mr. Holmes? Alright, I figure, I think I've gotten all the clues so I can make my... Deduction, I guess. Feet of strength. Lucky throw. What happens if I choose lucky throw? Pouch proves guilt. Red color highlights logical conflicts between deductions. They can be resolved. 
wait, what was that? They can be resolved by switching to alternate deductions or by finding additional deductions that aren't found yet. Proofs visit. Hmm. Let me go back to Baker Street one more time. I'm not sure if there's anything else there left. Is there anything else in my case book? I figured everything out in my evidence. Let's see which pub. Okay. Letters. Need to think, 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 think. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner? Do you believe he's the murderer? I don't think he's necessarily the murderer. But I do want to get back into my suit again. <laughs> Can I not suit up? Oh wait, this is this is Watson's pad, not my pad. Suit up! Give me back my sailor's hat. Yes. Some uh, costumes that currently co are not available. Oh, all right. I guess I'm only able to do that. Well, give me back my top hat then. I was only able to do that in that one scene. Fine. Give me back my top hat. I want my top hat. I want to be dressed. Dressed for success. Eight. And my gray. There we go. All right. So I guess it's I guess the signs right now are not pointing to Carnes confirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he was the scene of the murder but does not necessarily prove that he is the murderer. That could prove Carnes is guilty. Peter Carey was murdered by Patrick Carnes. Carnes is a professional harpooner. His tobacco pouch was found inside Carey's cabin. Patrick Carnes is a cold-blooded murderer. He has been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey and must be punished. Peter Carnes killed Peter Carey. Absolve Carnes. Peter Carnes killed Peter Carey, but the murder was not premeditated. It was in self-defense against an armed and irrational drunken sailor. Oh. That is interesting. Because we learned that Peter Carnes a cold blood murder, he has been found guilty of the murder by Peter Carey and must be punished. But it doesn't his absolve Carnes. Peter Carnes pilled Peter Carey, but the murder was not premeditated. It was in self defense against an armed and irrational drunken sailor. Yeah, so there's there's two ways this could go. Either Lucky throw. There's there's several ways this could go. Because John Elegant could have been caught stealing the bond certificates, might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. Retrieving the notebook. Lucky throw. Nelligan is guilty. Right. Oh, see how this is so cool, guys. Only Nelligan is guilty. John Hopley Nelligan murdered Peter Carey, and is, this is proven by his dishonesty and the fact that he was at the scene of the murder. Condemn Nelligan. John Hopley Nelligan has been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey. He must be punished by the law for his desperate crime. Absolve Nelligan. John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. His childhood was overshadowed by the loss of his father. He was always dreamed of a reunion to find out what had happened. He made a poor decision, so fell into trouble. That is really cool. See how there are... There are so many ways that this case could go. Either Nelligan's guilty because of a lucky throw. Right. Hurtley's guilty, be again, because of a lucky throw. Right. They're both guilty because they both, you know, work together. Or... Uh, Patrick Carnes is guilty because he's strong enough to do it. Liam Hartley has been found guilty of one of the murder of the murder of Peter Carey. He must be punished by the law in all its rigor. Absolve Hartley. 
Liam Hartley's mind was clouded by his love for Judith Carey, Peter's wife. This murder was a crime of passion under emotionless duress. Nevertheless, his must answer to the law for what he has done. I'm wondering if the way this game works is that any of these, any of these is, could be correct. Any of these could be true. So I guess my question is, is there really only one true? Is there really one true um, occurrence? This is actually what happened and it's possible for you to get, uh, to, 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 to crack the case incorrectly, as in put an innocent person or people behind bars? Or is this one of those games where really any of these, any of these people could have been the murderer and whatever you choose, as long as you got, as long as all the clues are there, whatever you choose, then the game decides, yeah, you're right, you were right, quote unquote, that is indeed the person who did the murder because of X, Y, and Z. I don't know, guys. Anyway, I've got a lot to think about. I've got a lot to think about to decide, like, which person I think I want, I want um, to incriminate. So I'm gonna think about that for a while because there's a lot of ways that this whole thing can go. So yeah, this is this is so cool. This is really really cool. Conclusions: two murders. Oh, so I can quickly go through. Change conclusion: Two murders. John Hopley Nelligan and Liam Hartley conspired together to murder to to murder Peter Carey. Pete Carnes is guilty, or Nelligan's is guilty, or Hartley is guilty. Okay, so you can like fast go through all of the different conclusions. That is really cool. This is so neat. I am absolutely loving this. Absolutely. Solve the case by accusing those who are guilty and seal their fate. But be aware, there is always more than one conclusion of the case. Choose one that you think is correct. There's always more than one conclusion. Oh, gosh. Okay. Gosh. All right, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about this, and then in the next video, I will decide what I believe actually happened. So I guess in the comments before you... I guess just for funsies, in the comments, I encourage you guys to put down in, to put down in the comments below what you think happened, what, like, who do you believe is the actual murderer or murderers, and why? Why do you think that, you know, that person being the murderer makes the most sense of all of, out of all of the different conclusions that I give? Either Hurtley is made a lucky throw, Nelligan made a lucky throw, Hurtley and Nelligan together work together to, you know, attack to kill Peter Carey, or uh, the Carnes guy, like, was the one who was able to, because of his sheer strength and because he's a harpooner, was able to impale Peter Carey. Yeah, put down in the comments what you think, because I'm really, really um, intrigued. Uh, even, even if you, even if uh, it's been however many weeks, months, years since I posted this. I just am curious to find out what people think and why they think about those kind of things. So anyway, thank you guys for watching so far. Tune into the next uh, episode. Until then, love yourselves and love each other.